Michael Swisher with Scordle at the Downtown Enid Basketball Festival. I'm with Alva Girls coach Dusty Horn and coach uh, the win tonight, 56-46 over Riverside. Couldn't quite put them away uh, the way I know you would want to. Um, but, you know, as it turned out, you got the double-digit win in, in a season where it's kind of been up and down for you to come in here and get a win. you got to feel good about that. Yeah, uh, we got off to a good start this year and then hit a little stretch there right after Christmas where we lost several in a row. Uh, so a win's definitely uh, not a bad thing at this point. But uh, played well in the first half, held them to 13 points, and then uh, missed a ton of layups uh, to really push that lead out. But uh, came out in the second half and didn't guard anybody but started scoring. So. <laughs> Uh, kind of a tale of two halves, but but we'll take the win. Yeah, and and, and I can tell you you're a little frustrated because they did. They came out and uh, hit a couple of three pointers. Was that just a case of them getting hot, or was that some breakdowns on your part, combination of both? What was that right there? Well, we, we gambled on defense and, and got burned. And in, the, in our zone, we're not really trying to get out and go steal that pass that our highly that was just on here was talking about. But uh, uh, just just doing things that we don't do and, and breakdowns, and and then uh, let them get loose. Uh, Hallie Durkee, she's got some experience in, in some bigger games for you in years past, or you know she's part of some of those uh, that teams that, that that went deep for you. Uh, Peyton, not necessarily, but Peyton had a big game tonight. It seems like you got a little bit of a combination of some, you know, new talent, some experience, uh, just trying to mold all that together here as the playoffs approach. Yeah, we we've got two freshmen playing a lot of minutes now that weren't playing a whole lot early in the year. Uh, Peyton's a really good player. Uh, Going to go play some college ball somewhere. She's got several offers already. Uh, does a lot for our team. Um, Hallie, like I say, she's been around. She's been through the ringer a few times. But uh, we've got a good balance of, of some senior leadership. we got a couple juniors that get some minutes. And, and then uh, the young talent is, is always kind of – you never really know what you're going to get. But, but you, like the, you like the energy that they bring and, and, the, and the passion that they have. So uh, You draw Preg to open the playoffs. Um, you know, I think top 15 team in 3A there. Do you, do you feel – some of those losses maybe you took after Christmas, uh, some of those are some, some pretty good teams. Uh, do you feel some of the competition you've played will have you prepared for, for what Prague has for you at, when district start? Well, I haven't seen Prague this year. I've seen them uh, last year or two in the playoffs, uh, just scouting them a little bit. But, uh, uh, no, just I, I like going and playing different people. That's that's what I like. So we got away from Chisholm and Blackwell early in districts, and, uh, and uh, so we'll, we'll go see what we can do. Uh, now the most important question is, How's the golf game? You still banging that about 330 yards down the middle of the fairway? You know, I actually went out about a week ago. It's the first time I played in three months, wow, and, and uh, uh, it's ugly. It's ugly. Uh, I won't believe that. Coach, congrats on the win tonight. Good luck the rest of the way.